Hey guys, welcome to another test and tune. Now, when I picked up the Audi headlight restoration kit, I also picked up their scratch remover, which I wanted to see what it was like, what you get in the kit, and really what they're providing to maybe the not so car enthusiast type people that would be shopping at Audi. Now, in their kit comes with a very basic instruction guide, which I will put up on the screen now and you can peruse whilst I'm reading out the other items. But the kit is basically comes with two compounds. Um, one, one is the cutting compound or scratch remover as they call it. And the other one is the finishing compound, uh, which is, I guess it's a two step polishing process, which isn't very rare. Also in the kit, they do provide a nice amount of cloths, which is handy. Uh, although I think if you're a car guy, you probably have some microfibers and they also provide some wet sanding paper. Now this is only 3000 grit, so it's a very light grade. It's, it's still pretty ballsy hitting paintwork with wet and dry when you haven't got a machine, a machine polisher to finish it and a wedge. Anyway, we're gonna attack this vehicle over here. Now, this is definitely probably a little bit too optimistic to be removed with even a machine polish, but we're gonna see what the outer kit can do. So we've got some light scratches up here. Now these would definitely get removed with a machine. And then we've got some kind of deep ones here. Uh, this one is through the paint all the way. So that's not gonna come up perfect, uh, but it'd be nice to see if we can get rid of all that red paint that's on there. And then this one here, it looks like it might be some rubber but anyway we're going to see how much this alder kit can clean up these marks let's get into it well hang on what with the plan because that's quite aggressive are you going to oh it needs to be wet sanded so just hit it straight with the wet sand straight up yeah i think um even these light ones you wouldn't be able to do with just a, a gentle hand polish so okay. straight to the wet sand so much to my Surprise, this 3000 grit has completely removed the red. It's completely removed the top scratch. And now I'm just sort of working through this scratch because this, this here is obviously a bit deeper. It removed all of the rubber marks that appear to be on there. Um, but now we have just got some deeper scratches. Now, one thing the instruction manual did say is don't wet sand for more than 15 seconds. And that was probably one or two seconds. This was probably three to five. I've been going on this section now for probably 20 or 30 seconds. So this might be too deep to polish up with the provided polish. Like I might've worn through too much of the clear coat maybe. But we're gonna keep going, just seeing how good we can, hang, can get it. Okay, so that was probably about five minutes with the 3000 grit on that middle scratch. And it is still just noticeable if you get it on the right angle with the light reflecting. But I'm gonna leave it there for now and move on to the finishing few steps with the Audi kit, which is what you might be holding in your hand. Ah, yes. So this is the actual scratch remover. Now I'm hoping with this, this is gonna remove all the marks that the 3000 grit has just put in the paint. So we'll go back to a time lapse and we'll give all this a hand polish. So that was about, probably about a minute of hand polishing and it's pretty much removed all of the that I'd say it has completely removed all of the wet sanding marks that were in there, which is pretty impressive. That's, um, that's probably, probably some of the easiest scratch removing I've done. Normally I do it with a machine. Um, but yeah, if you haven't got a machine, that's a pretty good thing. So we've just got to do the last step, which is the, the finishing coat. And I, I would say there's, there's definitely a little bit of a, maybe a slightly more matte finish to there, but assuming that was some sort of an aggressive cutting compound that we've just used, this should hopefully get everything looking nice and glossy and shiny again. 
Now I'm just doing very basic straight motions with both the cutting and the finishing. Working it in. And we'll remove it going the other way. Jeez, that's, that's put a nice gloss on it. Well, I am genuinely surprised with how long it's taken to get that result and the quality of that result. What do you think, Dave? That is, yeah, again, that's really damn impressive. No machines required. And that's made a damn big improvement. Let's remove this masking tape and we'll do some, some close-up shots so you guys can see the improvement. So I ended up just giving it another quick going over with the finishing paste. Now you can just see a little bit of a dull section here and that's, that's purely because I haven't gone full strength around here because I didn't want to remove the original scratches so we can get before and after. But with that second hit of the finisher, the, the finish on this side is it's much more glossy than what we've got over here. It's really cleaned the paint quite nicely. And when we do the whole panel, it's going to be a big change. And I will insert a picture of the panel completely finished now. Uh, but just for the sake of finalizing this video, I'll try and get this camera to focus on the finish. So this section here is where the original top scratch was. And this actually continued right down to about here. So it's come up, you cannot tell those first marks are there. In this middle section, hopefully the camera will focus on my finger, there's still a few very faint scratches. Now I reckon if I spent another 10 minutes with the wet sand, we could probably get rid of them, but it's at the point now where if you're a meter away, you can't really tell they were there. So that's, that's good enough for a daily driver type repair. And this scratch as well. I thought this was through the paint, but this is completely gone. That's completely repaired the paintwork. All in all, um, this kit works much better than the headlight restoration kit. Um, I'd really recommend it. What do you reckon, Dave? Absolutely, that's made a huge difference. And it's actually, it wasn't too aggressive, but it was aggressive enough to be quickly with the removal of the scratches. And then with the, you know, not too aggressive to make the, the finishing too hard to get back to that nice gloss. So it's actually got a nice gloss back on there as well. Looks like a new, a new panel. And even messing around with the video, that's been under 15 minutes. If we weren't doing the video, this whole section would have been done in 15 minutes. Look, thank you very much for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed another test and tune and we will catch you on the next one.